Hello students and welcome to this video for Word Chapter 2 Practice Exercise 1. So uh, I'm going to be showing you the how to do these step by step on um, these practice exercises and um, mid-level for this chapter but next chapter you're going to have to be doing the capstone and these exercises on your own so you do want to have that textbook out as you're doing this exercise try to follow along and also too the textbook such a great help for the fact that if you get lost or you get stuck or maybe you notice you did a step wrong it'll help you find out what it was specifically you did wrong where if you're just following along with the video without your textbook it makes it more difficult and harder for you to figure that out so um, make sure you have your textbook out we're on page 256 for this exercise you can see step A has us open this file um, for this one's entitled Cap Campus Safety you are the office assistant for the de police department at a local university and as a service to students, staff, and the community, the police department publishes a campus safety guide available both in print and online with national emphasis on homeland security and local incidents of fe theft and robbery. It is obvious that the safety guide should be updated and distributed. So you're going to work with a draft document and then of course formatting it which is changing things to make it more attractive and ready to print. And you can see figure 2.52 there as a help um, for us throughout. So we're on step A of page 256, open up W2P1 Campus Word document. So I already have that. And then, uh, you should have downloaded that from Plus Portals, by the way. Then we're gonna do File, Save As, because it says to save it with our name attached to it. So File, Save As, Browse. Make sure you have it in the right folder right now. Mine is in Downloads. I'm gonna go and save it to um, the folder I save these to when I do it. Um, you will save it to your flash drive. And then, of course, you're adding your name to the title. So underscore first or last name and then first name. And I'm going to save it. So last name, first name, save. And it says here, click show slash hide in the paragraph group. So you do need to have non-printing symbols um, displayed. So that's step A. Step B, click the Design tab. So we'll click on that, Design tab. Then it says click Themes in the Document Formatting Group. So here's Document Formatting Group. I'm supposed to click on Themes. So Themes is over here to the far left. And then it says I'm going to click on Iron Boardroom. Iron Boardroom. So you can see these are alphabetized in the list. And Iron Boardroom is the one I need to select. Okay, so we're going to actually choose to browse for theme. Oh, you know what? It looks like we don't have Iron Boardroom to select as our theme. So you know what? Oh, here we go. It's just switched to Ion. That's why. Okay, so Ion's up here um, at the very top. So if you're lost, it is alphabetical or was alphabetical, it looked like for the most part. Um, but here it is right here, Iron Boardroom, second row, first one on the left. Sometimes you got to look around, I guess, a little bit. Most of the time they're alphabetized. Then click colors in the document formatting group. So document formatting, colors is over here. And it says select green, yellow. Green, yellow. This list, it looks like, for the most part, is alphabetized. And then it says click fonts in the document formatting group. So document formatting group, fonts. And we're selecting. Garamond, I guess, Garamond, whatever the, however you pronounce it, uh, Garamond Trebuchet. So I scroll down a little to the bottom of the list here, and it's right here, MS. Okay, step C, we're going to click on the Home tab. Then you're going to select the first line in the document and click Center in the paragraph group. So I'm going to select it. So I click over here to the left of it. It'll select the whole line for me. Here's my paragraph group, and I'm going to choose to center it. Then it says click the font color arrow in the font group. So here's my font group. Font color arrow is right over here. And it says select green accent 3. So green accent 3. This is accent 2. This is accent 1. This is accent 3 right here. So green accent 3. And then it says click the font size arrow, so font group, font size arrow right here, select 26. Then it says click change case in font group. 
So click Change Case in Font Group. The button for that is over here. So Change Case right here. And select Uppercase. Uppercase. Double click of in the first line of the document. So right here, double click of. So we're just selecting the word of. And then it says click change case again. So font group, change case, and then select lowercase. Select the second line of the document. So I'll move over to the left. Click here. It selects the whole line for me. And then it says center the line. Change the font color to green accent 3. Now I already have it selected, so I can actually just click the font color button and it changes it for me and then it says change the font size to 16 so I go up here to the font arrow and font group 16 and then it says change the case to capitalize each word so change case capitalize each word and it'll capitalize the first letter for you. It says do not deselect text alright step D we're on the next page already step D click the borders arrow so that's in paragraph group. The borders button is right here. I'm clicking the arrow next to it. And it says click borders and shading. Borders and shading. It says to click custom in the settings section. So custom down here. Then it says click borders and, oh, excuse me, I'm going to uh, jump the line here. Then it says click the color arrow. So here's color. It's set to automatic color arrow. Select green accent 3. So green accent 3 we've been using so far. Scroll through the styles in the style box. So here's my style box up here. It says scroll through those and select the seventh style, the double line. So I've got one, two, three, four, five showing. So I need to go down two. So double line right here. Select that. And then it says click the width arrow. So down here, width arrow. Change it to one and a half point. One and a half right there and then click bottom in the preview group now this is our preview group right here bottom is right here it's kinda hard to see even on your computer um, I can actually see pretty well with it zoomed in you'll notice the change here though um, it looks like this in the preview and then of course it says to click OK now we have our double barred line right here we're on to step number E or excuse me step E now select the line containing the text your reference to campus safety so basically the third line here your reference to campus safety. Click the font color arrow. You'll notice the mini toolbar comes up. I can click here instead of having to go up to the top on the mini toolbar. And then it says to apply, oh, it says to click the actual font color button instead of the arrow. So to apply the most recent color selection. And then it says use either the mini toolbar or selections on the home tab to change the font to Lucidia Calligraphy. So Lucidia Calligraphy, I could type it in. I'm going to scroll down to it. Lucidia Calligraphy right here. And of course it changes it like that. All right, step F. Click at the end of the currently selected line, so the end, to position the insertion point immediately after your reference to campus safety. Click the Insert tab. So I'm going to go up to Insert. Then it says to click pictures in illustration so pictures right here these are online pictures this is pictures you're clicking on navigate to the location of the student data files and double click word chapter 2 practice 1 exercise now you're gonna find the picture you downloaded is essentially what's telling you you should have gone to plus portals and downloaded this word document and then also the picture so w2 zero two practice one campus is what we are selecting for the picture and then you're gonna click to insert so it says double click or click insert it's gonna put in our picture so you can see this is how it looks so far then it says step G click height in the size group size group you'll notice we're on the format tab size group is all the way to the right and here it says click height in the size group on the format and type 5 so I click in here I type in 5 oh my mouse moved down 5 and push enter. Now you'll notice it adjusted this to 5 for the height and it also adjusted the width. Every time you adjust one of these sides, it's going to the adjust the other one so that way it has the proper um, dimensions even with the increase in size. Okay, so I clicked or uh, press enter. Now it says click corrections in the adjust group. The adjust group is all the way over here to the left side. 
So adjust corrections. And then we're going to select brightness 0, in other words, normal, and contrast 20% under the brightness and uh, contrast group. So brightness 0. So they're down here. Um, it's taking a little bit for my computer to load. So brightness, um, it says here, let's see. So brightness, I need 0%, so that's 40, 20. So this is brightness 0, normal, and the contrast needs to be plus 20. So I have negative 40 there, negative 20, 0. This is plus 20, and this is plus 40 right here, but it needs plus 20. So it's this one right here, brightness 0, normal, contrast, plus 20. So I select that. And you can see it's basically uh, third column, fourth row is how you get to it. That's the easy answer there. All right, step H. Click before the words University of North Virginia. So up here at the top, University of North Virginia. Oh, excuse me, immediately below the picture. So we have a couple of them. So immediately below the picture and press Control Enter to insert a manual page break. So insert, so Control Enter to insert a manual page break. So I clicked in front of it and did that. Now it says scroll up and select the first line of page one of the second page. So scroll up and select the first line on page one. Oh, excuse me, of the document. I scroll up and select the first line on page one of the document. So I select this first line at the top. Then it says click. Oh, no, hang on a second. Sorry, I got lost here in the textbook. So this is why good why you have it out so you can look at it. Uh, we did control enter to insert a manual page break. Then scroll up and select the first line on page one of the document. Click home tab and click format painter and scroll to the second page. Select the first line, University of North Virginia to copy the formatting. Okay, so we are do have the right line. So you select this one, top one. Format painter, you have to select before you click Format Painter, otherwise it won't work. So I selected this one, I clicked Format Painter, now I go down here to the next page, it says, and select the first line to copy the formatting. So I'm going to scroll across and let go, and now it's copied the formatting. That's what I wanted to happen, uh, have happen with it. Then it says, Note that Format Painter does not copy the all caps format. Change the font color of the selected line to black text 1. So I click the font arrow, hover over black, and it says black text 1. OK, next, step I. We're moving through here pretty quickly. Select the second line of page 2, so Police Department. Second line of page 2 contain the text Police Department. And apply center bold and italic to the selection. So center, bold, and italic to the selection. So it should look like that. Change the font size to 16 point. 16 point. Then it says select text in the document beginning with mission statement and ending with prevention, partnerships, and problem solving. So mission statement. So let me say, make sure I have the right thing. So it looks like we're selecting from here mission statement all the way down to this line right here. The core components of our problem solving philosophy of prevention partnership and problem solving. So it looks like that for your selection. And then it says click the line and paragraph spacing in the paragraph group. So paragraph group, line and paragraph spacing, and it says to select 1.5 spacing. So I selected 1.5 spacing. It says click the paragraph dialog box launcher. So right up here, paragraph group, paragraph dialog box launcher. And it says change spacing after. So here's my spacing part right down here. Spacing after to 6 point. It's set to 8, so I'm going to click the down arrow and switch it to 6. Then it says click OK. I clicked OK. And then it says click to position the insertion point after the words police department and press enter twice. So I'm looking for police 
department and press enter twice. So it looks like the only time we have police department in here is the mission of the University of the or North, Northern Virginia Police Department. So I'm going to push enter twice here. Oh, except um, I actually did before the end of the word. There we go. So mission of the University of Northern Police Department. And then it should look something like this. Okay, step J, select the mission statement heading near the top of page 2 and change the font color to green accent 3. So mission statement heading right here. We're going to change it to font color green accent 3. So choosing that again, green accent 3. Center the selection. So I'm going to center it. And it also says change the font size to 16 and the font to Lucidia Calligraphy. So font size 16 and then Lucidia Calligraphy. Now it'll come up in recently used fonts, make it a little easier. And it'll look like that. Copy the format of the selection to vision heading on the same page. So I'm going to use Format Painter, Vision Heading. So I'm just going to select Vision on the same page and then insert a page break after the sentence ending with the words problem solving on page two so it says here again insert a page break after the sentence ending with problem solving so page break I need to include so I could do insert and I could choose page break or you can hold down control and press enter. So hold down control, press enter, or go to insert group and page break and do it that way. All right, we're on step K. We're almost done with this page here. Select the paragraphs on page two. So I'm going to scroll back up here. Select the paragraphs on page two beginning with university police officers. So university police officers, this line here, I start with. And it says are committed to, and then of course ending with prevention, partnerships, and problem solving. So you're selecting these lines right down here. Once you've done that, you're going to click the bullets arrow in the paragraph group. So here's paragraph group. We're clicking the bullets arrow right here. And then it says to select the square filled bullet, which is right here in my bullet library, square filled bullet. You'll see that come up. And then it says click decrease indent in paragraph group to move the bullets to the left margin. So decrease indent. So paragraph group right here. This is decrease. And I'm doing it till it reaches the margin. So basically just click once and it's there. All right, that's we're now on step L. Scroll to page three. We're going down to page three here, which looks like this. It says click the styleog or excuse well excuse me styles dialog box launcher so here's my styles group so my dialog box launcher is over here at the corner I click on that here's all my styles listed now I would move this over to the side so it's out of the way not floating here in the middle if you if your computer did that complete the following steps to apply styles to selected text click in the line containing emergency notifications so that's down here under the bulk um, paragraph there and then it says click heading one in style so I'm going to choose heading one scroll down and apply heading one style to the headings personal safety so let's see here personal safety I'm going to click there heading one and then it says medical emergencies which is on the next page Then it says fire emergencies, which is down here. So I'm just scrolling down a little bit each time. And then it says homeland security. And I'm applying heading one each time. And personal safety on campus, applying heading one each time. So you can see now it looks like this. It stands out much more. Then it says click in the line on page four containing the text summary. So I have to scroll up here to the top. Summary, click on the line there. 
it says click heading two in the styles pane so heading two you can see it's a little bit smaller um, but kind of the same setup and then it says scroll down and apply heading two style to the heading security and access to campus so down here security and access to campus it's right under personal safety so heading two and then emergency phones which is right down here on the next page he emergency phones heading two all right step M the last step for this page step M point to heading two in the styles page or uh, pane excuse me so over here styles pane right here click on the arrow next to heading two and click modify once you click modify it says click underline and select OK so we're going to choose I'm going to move this over to the side here so I can actually see it underline right here and then you click OK so I have underline selected and I click OK and you'll notice it changes all the heading twos to look like that alright we're on the next page here we're almost done we're getting there step N scroll to page 3 so scroll to page 3 you can see it's this one right here emergency notifications are on there select the five paragraphs in emergency notifications section now when it says paragraphs it means those short lines so phone email websites broadcast media and this one right here local radio and television stations beginning with phone and of course ending with provide additional info It says apply square filled bullets to the selection so I'm going to go up here to the bullets arrow in the paragraph group select the square and then it applies it for me decrease the indent to left margin we did that earlier in the paragraph group and then it says click new style in the styles pane so new style this button right here in the bottom left of the styles pane and then it says type bulleted text in the name box so up here name typing in bulleted text in the name box and then click OK because it's taking the settings we have here the formatting and applying it to the new style and now you can see here's our new style right here and also here all right step O select the seven paragraphs in the personal safety section starting beginning with seek a safe place or excuse me seek a safe location and ending with follow all directions immediately so seek a safe location and oh actually it's the end of the page right here seek a safe location and then follow all directions immediately you're selecting that then it says click bolted text up here in the styles I can click over here on it in the styles pane to apply it and then apply the same style to the seven paragraphs in the medical emergency section so down here on the next page the seven paragraphs beginning with the victim should not be moved which is right here the victim should not be moved and ending with information is needed so it looks like this and we're applying that style so bulleted paragraph or bulleted text so I also have it up here either one you could click on and now we're done with step O. step P it says press control and home remember home and those things are above your arrow keys on the keyboard to move to the beginning of the document click spell check the document so I'm going to review spelling and grammar I'm gonna exit out of the style pane for now so I can see it and it says to go through and check those things the word of in the university name is correct in lowercase so do not correct it so we want to check uh, correct all everything else but don't change of in here make sure you're checking that selects the right um, thing when you change it because sometimes it thinks it's wrong when it's not and of course sometimes it'll pick a different word that shouldn't select okay we finished step P step Q scroll to page 3 I'm already there select all text document or all text beginning with the University of Northern Virginia so page 3 and select all text beginning with University of Northern Virginia and ending at the end of the document so I start here and go all the way to the end of the document 
So I have that all selected. It says click the Layout tab. Choose Columns, so Page Setup Group Columns. Then select Two. Now you can see it's combined it to two columns here. It says click the View tab and you select multiple pages. So I go to the zoom area, multiple pages, and now I can see this whole section here that I selected. Scroll up or down to check the document for text positioning and any awkward columns. Then it says step R, click Outline in the Views group. So Views group, Outline. Be very careful as you're working with the outline. Some of you were getting caught up on this part here last time. It says click the Show Level Arrow in the Outline Tools group. So Outline Tools group, Show Level Arrow, right here. And it says click Level 1. And now you notice how it's changed in the, in the viewing here. So this is just Level 1 in the Show Level group. Then it says click the plus sign beside personal safety on campus. So I have personal safety and personal safety on campus. Make sure it's this one, the last one. So click the plus sign. And then now that I have it selected here, I clicked on the plus sign. It says click expand in the outline tools group. Up here expand is this plus sign right here and now it's expanded it for me. So you selected it by clicking the plus sign and then we went and clicked it up here. Then it says point to the plus sign beside emergency phones. So I'm pointing to it right here, the last one, emergency phones, and drag to position emergency phone section above the security and access to campus facilities. So I'm going to just basically click, hold it down, drag it up here. You can see that black arrow up here. That means it's in the right spot and then I let go and now it's switched it. Then it says click print layout on the status bar. Status bar is down here. We go all the way over here to where our zoom tools are and select print layout. You can see it switched it for us. Step S, we're almost there. Press control and home to go to the top of the document. It says click show and hide in the paragraph group to turn off non-printing characters. Click the file tab I'm going to save this first. Click the File tab. It says click Print to preview the document. Then it says click Next Page. So we're just basically looking at it right now. Then it says here click Back. So you notice you're not actually printing it. We just click Print so we could preview it. And then Step T, compare your work to Figure 2.0. 5.2 in your textbook, it should match it, and then it says save and close your file, and of course it says based on the instructor's, instructor's directions, submit Z Word Chapter 2 Practice Exercise 1 Campus with your name. So you're submitting this file that's up here at the top, this is the only file that we worked on um, for the exercise, and of course you're going to submit it the way you've been instructed in the class time. Good job following along, and then Submit it online.